I'm Martine LaDuke. Hi, I'm Amy De Palma. And we're here at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve to show you life science at a social distance. Now we have Donna Conroy and she has a dancer on her gloves so we can compare the size and compare the two different types of hawks. Donna has the red tail hawk and Amy has the red shoulder hawk. <laughs> So as you can see here, their sizes are significantly different. Rusty is a lot smaller than Dancer. Also their color or plumage is a lot different as well. So you'll notice Dancer doesn't have the rusty brown on his shoulder, he actually has it on his tail, hence called a red-tailed hawk. We're going to weigh both birds so we can compare their size. We're going to weigh it in grams initially and you know that a gram is about the weight of a paper clip and then we can kind of get an idea of how many pounds that would be so 453 paper clips is the same as one pound he weighs 394 grams 394 grams so he weighs less than a pound less than a pound wow <laughs> Did I think I've heard that they have hollow bones. Is that accurate? So birds, that all flighted birds, have mostly hollow bones that allows them to fly. So what you're seeing here is mostly feathers. Let's weigh Dancer and see how much he weighs in comparison to Rusty. Rusty weighs less than a pound. We know Dancer's bigger. 10, 40, so Dancer weighs almost two and a half pounds, is that right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Wow. Here we have some real hawk feet. So how do you acquire things like this? So Boyd Hill Nature Preserve has a collection permit in order to get these, what we call biofacts. Um, so not all birds make it through the rehabilitation process. Um, and when they do pass away, um, rehabilitators will give us these, um, these bodies and we turn them into teaching tools. So that way people can touch them and feel what a hawk foot feels like, but safely so they don't actually, those talons don't actually grab onto them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I believe this one is the red-shouldered hawk and this is the red tail hawk, both Correct. of which we talked about earlier today. Mm -hmm. So can you tell, talk a little bit about how they're different? Yeah, so um, the first thing is the size. Uh, you'll notice this one right here, here, my right hand is a red-tailed hawk, so you'll see it's a lot larger um, than the red-shouldered hawk. Um, but you look at the individual toes, you'll notice that they're a lot larger because this bird, a red-tailed hawk, is eating things like rabbits, um, squirrels, and larger snakes. Um, whereas this one is eating more mice, voles, and turtles, um, so a lot smaller prey than the red-tailed hawk would be. But some similarities um, between them, you'll notice that they both have three toes in the front and one in the back. Now this one in the back is called a hallux. Now this is what we call the kill talon. So when they grab onto their prey, this is the talon that will sink into their prey that will actually uh, kill the prey so they can actually eat it. Amy, thank you so much for spending time with us today. We really enjoyed meeting the birds that you have yeah. and I hope you all have enjoyed learning about the hawks in our area. Until next time, this is Martine and Amy from Boyd Hill Nature Preserve.